but it's funny. Drake, Drake's horrible at keeping time. Is he really? Horrible. That's I mean, ask him to tap a hi hat along with a beat, and he's got a real hard time. Never mind like triplets or something like that. Like he's screwed, you know. Mm -hmm. And so this one day, me and Drake are in the studio, and I'm like, "What? It doesn't make sense. Like, you're too talented of a musician and a and a and a rapper, and your cadence and your timing is so impeccable. You hear he hears, mind you, like three milliseconds shift. Okay, he'll wow. tell me. All right, like, wow, maybe not three, but like but, ten. He hears like wow. like that. Okay, wow. what something's wow. off what's going on. I like check my delay compensation. I'm like, how did you hear that? You know, wow. I'm working at 64 samples. Like, what are you talking about? Right. So his timing is so strong in that regard. It didn't make any sense. And what he said to me, is like, I don't hear, he said, we finally figured out. He said, I don't hear the beat. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I hear the spaces in between the beat. Uh, and I was like, oh my God. Interesting. Very interesting. But it made perfect sense. You know, he's as a rapper or a singer, he's trying to find the cadence in between mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the transients he's not whereas me as an engineer i'm thinking mathematically i'm listening to one and three like i'm listening to the transients of the kick mm -hmm. and the snare mm -hmm. you know mm 